Hey guys, welcome to my Natural Academia and today I'll be showing you guys how I make my onion juice. Now for this recipe, you'll only need three ingredients. And depending on how much you want, you will need more or less of these ingredients. For one application, the average person will need one whole yellow onion, two garlic cloves, and a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. However, for the purpose of not wanting to make more than I needed, I decided to cut that recipe in half. And as you can see, I have half a yellow onion, one garlic clove, and half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. First, I will start off by chopping the onion into medium sized chunks. After this, I peel my garlic clove and then chop it into relatively smaller bits. Garlic has a vast amount of antibacterial properties that help to kill germs and bacteria. These are responsible for causing damage to the scalp, thus inhibiting your hair to grow. Also, raw garlic is known to be rich in vitamin C. This is great for helping promote healthier hair. It also increases the collagen production, which can also be found in onions that I will be talking about later on in this video. This helps to stimulate healthier hair growth. Once the onion and garlic are chopped up, I like to let them sit for about 5 minutes so that a powerful antioxidant called allicin can be released from these ingredients. One way you can determine if the allicin has been produced is when you smell that very familiar sharp scent of onion and garlic. For this recipe, I'll be using 3 fourths of a cup of tap water as well as a small pot to add the garlic and onion. When added to the hair and scalp, Onion juice can provide extra sulfur to support strong and thick hair. This helps to prevent hair loss and promote hair growth. The sulfur from the onion can also help reduce the production of collagen. Collagen is commonly known for helping with the production of healthy skin cells and also hair growth. Some other foods that have a high amount of collagen that are commonly used in hair treatments are eggs, avocados, and garlic. Once finished, I put the burner on medium heat and wait till the water in the pot comes to a slight boil. This is done so that all of the nutrients from the onion and the garlic can be transferred to the water. For this next step, you'll need an applicator bottle, a bowl, your cayenne pepper, and a strainer. After sifting out the onion from the juice, I like to let it sit for a few minutes before adding the cayenne pepper. Now aside from cooking, cayenne pepper has been used for many years for the promotion of hair growth. Cayenne pepper has a lot of health benefits, but among those benefits, it is commonly known for stimulating blood circulation to the hair follicles. This helps to ensure better nutrition and healthier hair growth. For this final step, after all the ingredients are mixed, I like to get a funnel to make it easier for myself to pour the onion juice inside of the applicator bottle. In this step, you are also free to add any of your favorite essential oils. I personally like to use peppermint and tea tree oil whenever I'm doing my onion juice treatments. I would like to add that if this is going to be your first time trying this onion juice recipe, you may feel a tingling sensation on your scalp and I find that this is due to the garlic. If you're someone with a drier scalp, it is best to chase this recipe with a coconut oil or olive oil. Here's a few clips of me trying this aloe vera treatment. I've already uploaded this video on my channel and I will be linking the whole video in the description box if you're interested. Now this is not a treatment that I do very often. I do this treatment along with the aloe vera treatment once every other month on my hair. I would not suggest trying this treatment on every single day of the week because your hair will fall out. I would rather suggest you doing this treatment right before you wash your hair because this onion juice really smells bad, I'm not even gonna lie. And I also find that the tingling sensation from the garlic isn't as strong as when your hair is dirty than when it is clean. On the bright side, I really appreciate you for clicking on this video and watching, and if you have any other questions, please feel free to comment down below and I'll be happy to answer. 
Also, if you're interested in seeing me try any other treatments, please comment them down below because I only know a few right now. Once again, the video of me doing this treatment will be in the description box if you're interested, along with any other videos that I feel like you guys would also like. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.